Good morning, madam. Have you noticed any suspicious activity by anybody or any gang in recent times? Suspicious activity? I don't think so. In case you see or hear anything suspicious, please don't hesitate to inform the police. We heard of some gang activities. We are just checking to be sure everyone in the neighborhood is okay. All right. Thanks. Madam Paulina, is the police officer here for Matthew? What do you mean? A police officer just left your shop. I saw you talking to him. So? That Matthew boy is up to no good. I wonder why he was named Matthew. That name is too cool and spiritual for a street boy. All he does is fight and smoke around the neighborhood. That boy has no future. Rhoda, it is enough. Are you here to buy something or not? I am not buying anything. I only came here to get the latest information. Well done, neighborhood CNN. Are you really sure the police officer wasn't looking for him? You know he came back from prison six months ago. I actually feel he escaped from prison. Radio without battery, please leave my shop. Who are you calling radio without battery? It is not your fault. I should have asked someone else. Are you not a Christian? Of course I am a Christian. In fact, I was made a deaconess last week Sunday. So Deaconess Rhoda, when last did you pray for Matthew? Pray for Matthew? Am I his mother? Why should I pray for him? So you'll rather get the latest gist about him than pray for him. What a shame. Paulina please don't insult me. What did I do wrong? I'm leaving your shop. Thanks for leaving. Baby. You are walking too fast. Who are you? I am not your baby. I don't even know you. Okay then. My name is Matthew, but they call me Scorpion on the street. Okay. Won't you tell me your name? No. Why not? I want to know you. You are a very beautiful girl. You look like trouble. Well, you are not wrong. But a good trouble. I sting those that disturb my peace. If you be my girl, I'll make sure I protect you with my life. Are you sure? Yes. Okay then. My name is Kim. Wow. That is cool. A beautiful girl with a beautiful name. What a sweet combination. That's funny. Kim Kim. I'll take good care of you. Wigs, cloth, bag, name it. Really? Yes. I'll do anything for you if you agree to be my girlfriend. Jaden, please come. Hello, Miss Paulina. Have you seen Matthew? Yes. I saw him a few minutes ago. Can you tell him I want to see him? I should tell Scorpion that you want to see him? He won't answer me, Miss Paulina. He is busy talking to a girl. Jaden, his name is Matthew, not Scorpion. But that is what he calls himself. He doesn't know what he is saying. Okay. Madam Paulina. How many times have I told you to stop sending people to call me? I am not your son. I know you are not but I care about you. Matthew, God created you to be more than this. He didn't create you to be a troublemaker. Is this why Jaden made me leave the babe I was talking to? I don't have time for your sermon today Miss Paulina. I don't want you to go back to prison. I want you to fulfill your purpose on earth. Miss P, save this discussion for your children. I talk to them and I pray for them also. Well, I know your children are doing well in the university. I like my life, Miss P. You will also do well. I'll continue praying for you. How is your mother? I haven't seen her since I came back from prison. You should visit her. I don't have time. It is well with you. Dear God, I am really worried about Matthew. I know you have a great plan and purpose for his life. Lord, Please turn his life around. Destroy every plan and agenda of the devil over his life. Let him come to the knowledge of who he is in Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. I think I should go and see his mother tomorrow. I really hope she is at home. P. I haven't seen you in a while. What brought you here? Matilda. Good morning. I'm here to see you concerning your son. Do I have a son? Please don't say that. You have a son. Please come in. Welcome to my home. Your home is beautiful. Thanks. Like I said earlier, I'm here to talk to you about your son. 
He told me he has not been home since he came back from prison six months ago. I am worried about him. I see him around my shop moving with gang boys smoking and drinking all sort. I am tired of that boy. He behaves like a goat. Always causing trouble everywhere. He is not my only child. I have daughters. He shouldn't kill me with worry. I didn't kill my mother. I know you are tired. Have you been praying for him? I prayed for him few times in the past. I stopped because he started getting worse. Ah. Devil's trick worked on you. Devil's trick? Yes. In my daughter's first year in college, she met some really bad friends. She started drinking and going to clubs. I prayed one hour every day for eight months just for her. Instead of her to stop those things, it became worse. She started smoking all sort. I got angry then I stopped for a while. One day, I heard a message in church on the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous. My faith jacked up after that message and I began to pray for my daughter. Within two months, she called that she would like to leave this school and transfer to another school. She rededicated her life to Christ. Now, she is doing well in school. The devil will make you think your prayers are not working so you can stop praying. I never knew you went through that with your daughter. Yes I did. Take back your son. Don't give devil any chance. I'll join you in prayers. May God bless you Paulina. I'll start praying for my Matthew. Thank you so much. I have to be on my way now. Thank you Paulina. My dear Father in Heaven. The Most Righteous and Holy One. Thank you for giving me Matthew my son. Father, I give him back to you. Take over his life. Let him be a useful vessel in your kingdom. I come against every works of darkness over his life in the name of Jesus. Dear Lord separate him from bad company in Jesus name. Amen. Miss P, you won't believe what happened this morning. You are right. I won't believe. It's too early for gossip Rhoda. Don't you have things to do? I blame myself for coming to you with premium hot gist. Have you started praying for Matthew Deaconess Rhoda? Pray for Matthew? Please don't ask me that nonsense question again. I'll rather pray for a stone than Matthew. Really? It is well with you. Leave my shop. I will leave. I am never coming back to your nonsense shop. Fine. Father Almighty, Maker of Heaven and Earth, I thank you for the life of my dear son Matthew. I thank you Lord because you are restoring him back to your original design for his life. I know you have good use of him. Please do what only you can do. I praise your name O Lord because it is done. In Jesus most precious name I pray. Amen. I am not expecting anyone this morning. Oh, I think it's the delivery guy. Matthew. Mom. Please come here my son. Mom I'm sorry for all I made you go through. Please come in my son. I'm so happy to see you. What do you want to eat? Mention anything, I'll prepare it for you. Mom, you are not angry. Angry? Why should I be? I'm happy you are home my son. I think your best food should be okay. Yes mom. I'll be right back. I must have caused her so much pain. This is my first time home in two years. I don't want to ever make her worry. I want to make her happy. I want to be a good son. Lord, help me to be a good son. Everyone, I have just for anyone who cares to hear. Super hot gist. Why did you decide to bring your announcement to my shop? Did I face you? But for real, you'll be interested in this early morning tea. It is super hot. Rhoda, are you sure this thing is not a curse? Don't you have anything to do with your time this morning? I don't care about your insult, I'll still tell you. I saw Scorpion in front of his mother's house this morning. Can you believe that? So that is your hot gist? His name is Matthew not Scorpion. His mum called me already so you can go. You don't mean it. His mum called you? Give me the full gist please. Leave my shop Deaconess Radio without battery. 
So you are hoarding premium gist. Don't worry, I'll get it elsewhere stingy woman. You need help Rhoda. Whatever. God is truly a prayer answering father. Thank God we didn't give up on praying for Matthew. I urge everyone to follow God's word in 1 Timothy 2, 1 which says I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them, intercede on their behalf, and give thanks for them. I really have to start praying for Rhoda. Mom, this food is very delicious. I didn't know how much I missed your food until now. Please eat as much as you want. I cooked the whole pot for you. It must have been long you ate good food. I'll also get you some multivitamins from the pharmacy. Thank you, Mum. Mum, you didn't ask me why I came home. I have been waiting for this day for the past two years. Asking you is the last thing on my mind. All I know is that God Almighty brought you home. How did you know it was God that brought me home? I know because it was God's promise to me. I pray for your return every day. Do you know Paulina? Madam P that has a store down the street? Yes. That woman has a heart of gold. She came here over a year ago to encourage me never to stop praying for you. Not only that she also joined me in prayers. You don't mean it. So you both have been praying for me? Yes we have. Even my fellowship group in church. Madam P calls me all the time to advise me and preach to me but I didn't listen to her advice. I later stopped answering her. I am so sorry for all I made you pass through. All I brought to you was pain and tears. I had a dream last week. I saw myself in the midst of this scary group. Then a man in long white robe appeared and pulled me out. He removed the filthy garment I was wearing, gave me a very clean white robe, and told me to go home to my mother and not look back. Oh my lord Jesus! My son, you met the lord. Really? I fought with the thought for days. I thought you won't want to see me. I am happy to see you my son. The Lord brought you back to me. Jesus I thank you. God saved me while I was perishing. Mom, I want to live for God. I want to go to school. I want to make you proud. Most importantly, I want to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Can you pray for me Mom? Yes I will my son. Yes I will. Hello Rhoda. Please come. Me? Are you really calling me? Didn't you tell me not to come to your shop again? I know I said so. I'm sorry. I want to talk to you about something important. What is it? I want you to know that I do not hate you. I love you so much. We live in the same neighborhood and you are a fellow sister in Christ. I think I should be able to tell you if I see anything that may be detrimental to you and your fellowship with God. Okay, where are you really going with all this? Rhoda, please. Don't be available as an instrument of spreading rumor and gossip. It doesn't look good on you especially as a Christian. I think I really need help Miss Paulina. Last month, I saw a woman in my neighbor's car who was different from his wife. I went straight to his wife's office to tell her. I didn't know it was her husband and her sister on their way to get her a surprise birthday gift. The marriage almost ended. You won't believe this woman came to my house and beat me blue black. Didn't you notice that I didn't pass by your shop for a month? The woman broke my neck. I wore a neck brace for three weeks. Ah. Rhoda, let the Holy Spirit help you. Proverbs 18.21 says the tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. The Bible also says in 1 Peter 3.10. 4. Whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech. Let me add if a science 429 which says do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Ah. You mean those are in the Bible? Yes dear Rhoda. Does that mean the beating I got was well deserved? Like a consequence of what I said? something like that. I hope my mouth won't kill me one day. Please pray for me. With the help of the Holy Spirit, you can have power over your tongue. I know you like to talk a lot. Harness it to your advantage. Use it for a good cause. But I don't know how to. Like I said earlier, 
Allow the Holy Spirit to work on you and through you. Pray. Pray in the Spirit and pray in your own understanding. But pray more in the Spirit and study the Word of God. I will also be praying for you. Miss Paulina, thank you for caring so much about me. God bless you. Amen. Can we pray? Yes. Dear Lord, I thank you for the life of your daughter Rhoda. I thank you because you created her to bring glory to you. Father I ask that in your mercy, she is able to bring her thoughts and mouth under subjection of the Holy Spirit. Amen. She only says what needs to be said at the right time in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that she speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue according to your word in Proverbs 31, 26 in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's okay Rhoda. I want you to constantly declare God's word over your life. Start with the one I quoted while praying. Proverbs 31, 26. God bless you. I'll continue praying for you. Thank you so much Miss P. May the Lord reward you greatly. I am super grateful. You are welcome. I speak with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on my tongue. I speak with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on my tongue. Rhoda, I have been looking all over for you. You won't believe what happened to Mrs. Jonathan. What about Kate and her husband? Even. Please, I beg you I am not interested. Leave me alone. I speak with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on my tongue. You are acting strange Rhoda. Please let today be the last time you'll see me as a gossip partner. God has delivered me. You can leave. I speak with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on my tongue. You are looking so handsome my son. Thanks mom. I shaved my beards and removed the earrings. Wow. What a great difference. You have changed so much in the last one month. I heard you praying in tongues in the middle of the night. I didn't even know you already got baptized in the Holy Spirit. Yes mom. I have been praying every night since you led me to Christ. I told God to baptize me with his Holy Spirit. I just suddenly noticed that I could speak in tongues. Wow. What a mighty God we serve. This is still like a dream to me. I also noticed that since I started praying, the desire to smoke and drink left. See what the Lord has done. What I waited for has come to pass. I thank God for your life, son. Glory to God. I want to go to the university. I also want to be able to help those struggling with substance abuse. All right, my son. Whatever you want to do is fine by me. Are you going out? Thank you, Mum. Yes, I want to greet Miss Paulina. I haven't seen her since I returned home. All right, my son. Please send my regards to her. All right. I can't believe I have stayed indoors for one month. Hey you. Scorpion. The number you gave me has not been reachable. What happened to if you be my girlfriend, I'll buy you wigs and bags and so on. I'm so sorry. My name is Matthew. I can't be in a relationship for now. What do you mean by that? For your information, we are already in a relationship. I agreed to date you the day we met. Why are you looking so different though? Your long braided beards, earrings, tattoo. Where are they? The person talking to you now and the person that asked you out are two different people. The person that asked you out is gone forever. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold all things are become new. You are not making sense to me. My attention is only on Jesus. I'm sorry for leading you on. Why are you talking like a pastor? What happened to you? Jesus happened to me. I can't deal with this. Please get out. God bless you. Oh please. Hello Miss P. Wow. Matthew? Look at you. I almost didn't recognize you. You look so handsome. How are you doing ma'am? I have been good. God has been faithful. What about you? I can see the glory of God shining all over you. I have been good. I really want to thank you for your care, love and prayers. You did not give up on me. My mom also told me you encouraged her not to give up on praying for me. 
If not for you, I would still be on the street or in jail. I have now given my life to Christ. I study the Bible and pray every day. I don't smoke, drink, or womanize anymore. All thanks to God my dear. Let's give all the glory to God. I really thank God for all he has done in your life. Your testimony is a great one. Can you do me a favor? What favor? I want you to also intercede for others especially those that are still on the streets, struggling with addiction etc. Yes ma. I'll make sure I do that. Thank you Matthew. God bless you. God bless you oh, too. Oh God. What is happening to me? Why have things not changed for me? I got born again over six years ago. Why am I still on the same level? I am tired. Maybe I am not caught out for this Christianity thing. My friends that are unbelievers are doing so well. Some work in big companies while some run their own businesses. Why are you not blessing the work of my hands? Why am I still poor? I need answers. What should I do? Before I do something stupid, maybe I should see someone in church. Good day, sir. Good day, Sister Lola. Are you here to see someone? I don't know if there is anyone that can attend to me. I am going through a mental breakdown. I need someone to talk to. Oh, sorry about that. Pastor Mrs. just arrived. You should be able to see her soon. Thank you so much. Good day, Pastor. It's really nice to meet with you, Ma. Good day. Please sit. Thank you, Ma. How can I help you? Pastor, I feel like God doesn't know that I exist. I gave my life to Christ six years ago, but everything is stagnant. My life is stagnant. My non-Christian friends are doing so well. They are married with children and living in mansions while I can hardly afford house rent. I am tired. God has not been good to me. You think God has not been good to you? He hasn't pastor. Okay last week, I went to the hospital to see my niece who just got delivered of a baby. As I was stepping into the hospital, I saw a young boy of about 11 or 12 on oxygen. Are you on oxygen sister Lola? No pastor, I can breathe well. While coming to the office, I saw a woman sleeping on the street. Do you sleep on the street? No ma, I don't. I recently saw a crippled homeless man praising God on the street. I felt ungrateful. We easily forget the things God has done when we go through challenges. I am not saying your feelings are not valid, but have you taken time to thank him for the things you have? Let me give you a scenario. I gave you $10,000, you left without saying thank you. I gave you another $15,000, you left again without saying thank you, then you came back lamenting that someone else has a million dollars. Do you think I'll give you a listening ear? No pastor. Why do you think so? I didn't show gratitude for the money I got. You'll probably not want to give me another. Exactly. You need to pray the prayer of gratitude and thanksgiving. I am not saying you shouldn't ask God for your needs. God actually want us to ask but you need to thank him for the ones you have no matter how little you think they are. You also need to be closer to God. I know you've been a Christian for a while, but you need that intimacy with the Father. God wants a father-daughter relationship with you. How can I build intimacy with God? Prayer and study of the word. Pray without ceasing. Don't just focus on your needs while you pray. Pray for the church, pray for your family, pray for your friends, pray for lost soul, pray for orphans, pray for the government and those in authority etc. You need to pray without ceasing. You can't afford to lose guard. The devil never sleeps. He is always after God's children. Let me share the testimony of one of my daughters in faith. Satan started attacking her immediately she gave her life to Christ. Thank God she is a spiritual sister and she is growing fast in Christ. This is her story. Great one. I hail you. What brought you here? Today is not our meeting day. Have you noticed this Judith Gear? She was supposed to die with her friends at the club but she didn't go. She can't just go scot-free. She is getting too serious with the Bible and prayer. I want us to kill that fire before it starts to grow. 
Yes, I noticed she is getting too serious. We need to kill that fire. Let's launch an attack on her while she's asleep. Perfect. Let's do that. I don't know why I can't sleep. This is 12 a.m. Maybe this is God alerting me to pray. Since I can't sleep, I will just pray with Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you. I think I should say me or put my name instead. He shall deliver Judith from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers, and under his wings I shall take refuge. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the rur that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand. But it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I look, and see the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, my dwelling place, no evil shall befall me, nor shall any plague come near my dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over me, to keep me in all my ways. In their hands they shall bear me up, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and serpent I shall trample underfoot. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore he will deliver me. He will set me on high, because I have known his name. I will call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. With long life he will satisfy me and show me his salvation. Amen. Why is the spell not working? Can't you see that she didn't sleep? Instead she is praying. I can't believe this girl is this strong. I will try again some other night. I can't waste this night. Let's look for someone else to attack. Wow. She would have died if she slept instead of praying. You see why we must be serious with prayers. Yes ma. Don't worry, just focus on God. Everything you need would be added to you according to God's word in Matthew 6.33. Thank you so much ma. I feel at peace. Glory be to God. Guy, we miss you on the streets. What happened to you? Jesus happened to me. I am no more a street boy. Jesus happened to you? Yes. He actually appeared to me, cleaned me up and told me to go home. I am so happy and at peace. Ryan, there is nothing on the street. Everything you need is in Jesus. I have been praying for you Ryan. I want you to come to the Lord. He cares for you. I stole my father's money and left the house. I don't even have anything again. A whole me, son of a millionaire living on the streets. There is a story like yours in the Bible. Really? Yes. There is this guy who collected his inheritance from his father. I'll tell you his story in a relatable way. The actual story is found in Luke 15 11-32. What's up bro? Chucks, why did you tell me to meet you at the park? There is something I want to discuss with you. I am traveling out of the country. Wow. Since when have you been planning this? Just recently. But I need money. I don't have any money to give you. You think I want to ask you for money? Don't be ridiculous. So how do you plan to get the money? You know our father is rich and old. He probably has less than 5 years left. I want to ask him for my share of his inheritance. Are you stupid? Why am I even asking that? You must be very stupid. Why don't you just cut off his throat? Are you even my brother? Can you say such nonsense if mother was alive? I honestly don't blame you. I blame myself for coming to you first with my plan. Just continue working with father. You think working with him will give you a bulk of his inheritance? I thought bald people had more sense. You don't even have any. Just get out of my sight. Fine. Chucks, good to see you. Hello father. Good to see you too. Are you home for the weekend? No. I am here to discuss something with you. Okay what is it? I want my own share of your inheritance. Share of my what? Inheritance. I believe you have a will. I want what you have apportioned to me in your will. 
Are you okay at all? You can't even wait for me to die. Your mother and I didn't raise you like this. If you give me now, I won't ask for it again. People don't share their inheritance while still alive. It can start with you. What do you want to do with it? You don't need to know. Fine. I'll give it to you. As I just saw you by the road, I instantly fell in love with you. Is that so? Yes. You don't believe me? You don't even know my name. Oh. What is your name? Beauty. I almost guessed. I can't even imagine you bearing another name. You are just too beautiful. Your parents gave you the red name. Thanks. My name is Chucks. See, I am going to take care of you. Just mention whatever you want. I am rich. Money is not my problem. Really? I want iPhone 14, original Chanel bag, 30 inches and 14 inches human hair, and $5,000 for my house rent. Is that all you want? No. I'll send you a list after you've gotten me these. Let. Just check the price tag iPhone 14 is just $1,450. I can buy you two. Can I add two AirPods? Yes. Even if you want five. Have you ever heard of the sea getting dried? My money can't finish. Buy as many as you want. I want to give one of it to my friend. It's okay. Sandra, I caught a big fish today. Oh, you joined the fishing competition announced at the farmer's market. You are not serious. I met this rich guy today. Come and see how he was just buying me things. You don't mean it. Hope you bought something for me? Trust me now. I got you AirPods. I would have picked iPhone 14 for you, but don't worry, next time. Are you saying he is that rich? He also got me a Chanel bag. That should answer your question. Where did you meet him? Where can I meet a guy like that? I can't answer that question. His type are not easy to come by. I must meet his time. I don't mind what it will take. When next are you seeing him? Can I come with you? Come with me to do what? Don't get me angry please. Okay, sorry. Your name is Franka, right? Yes. I fell in love with you the moment I set my eyes on you. Is that so? I am serious. You are the most beautiful woman I've ever met. You like me that much? Let me prove it. Mention anything, and it's yours. Really? Yes. My grandmother is in the hospital, and we need $10,000 for surgery. I don't know if you can help me. Small money. Consider it done. Is that all? Maybe with iPhone 14. I'll get it for you. Wow. Thank you so much. It's nothing. This is the most expensive fashion boutique in town. I know. I don't do cheap things. What is your budget? Budget? Who do you think I am? Have you not heard of Chucks in this town? Sorry I said that. I can't believe you paid for the over $18,000 item I picked at the boutique. Don't worry, my money cannot finish. I like that. When next are we seeing? I don't know. I will call you. My money is finishing gradually. I didn't even spend much. How did one million dollars reduce to five thousand dollars? It is barely six months I left home. How am I supposed to survive with five thousand dollars? How will I pay my hotel bills? How will I live my big boy life? What do I do now? The son of a wealthy man now living in an uncompleted building. My dad owns a mansion. How did I get here? How can the son of a millionaire be begging for food to eat? How did my life get this miserable? What do I do now? I can't continue to live like this. My father's workers and servants are living well with good foods to eat while I am here perishing. I know I have really offended my father. But I will summon courage, arise and go to my father. And they will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. Father, I am sorry. My son, I have been waiting for this day. Welcome back home.
Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Someone there should bring the finest robe and shoes and put it on my son. You might want to take a bath first. We are going to party and marry for I have found my son. You look good. Thanks, Dad. Do you think God and my parents can forgive me and receive me back home like this story? Yes, they will. You have to show total repentance. Ask God to forgive you and receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. God your Heaven Father is waiting for you. I am ready to receive Jesus. I am also ready to go home to my family. Glory to God. It's 4.30 a.m. Lola, it's time to pray. I refuse to be lazy and a prayerless Christian. I am ready to take my life serious. No more complaining. No more excuses. I am ready for a real change. Dear Lord, I am sorry for being ungrateful all this while. Thank you for saving my soul from destruction. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for my family and friends. Thank you for the provision of food, shelter, job, clothes. Thank you for all that you gave me. Thank you for blessing me with all spiritual blessings and heavenly places in Christ. You alone deserve all the praise. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. I feel so refreshed and happy. I have never been this happy in the morning and I have never prayed for this long. This must be the beginning of something great. Time to take a shower and prepare for work. I feel so energized and happy. God has filled my heart with so much joy. I receive every blessing God has for me today in Jesus' name. Since I started praying, studying and minding God's business, I have seen tremendous changes in my life. I don't have interest in gossip anymore. I have channeled my speaking into praying for others and encouraging them. I am no longer neighborhood radio without battery. Good morning Paulina. Good morning Matilda. How have you been? It's so good to see you. I have been good. The Lord has been good to me and my family. I am here to say a big thank you for encouraging me to pray. I have seen a mighty turnaround in my life and in my family. My son came back home after two years. He now loves the Lord. He just got admitted to the university. My business is thriving. I now hear God better. Wow, prayer is truly the key. If we don't pray, Satan will make mess of us, so we have to pray. Oh yes, we have to. I should be on my way now. I'll see you some other time. All right. Good morning Mercy. Wow Lola, you are looking so beautiful and happy this morning. I haven't seen this glow on you before. What is your secret? It's God my friend. Fellowship with God through prayers. What kind of joke is that? I am not joking. I am serious. Fellowship with God can make someone glow and happy. Really? I am not just happy, I have this peace and joy from within that I can't explain. I have never seen you like this. You are always grumpy. I like this new you. I think I should also get serious with God. Yes you should. You won't regret it. You know the account manager position is vacant right? You should apply. I don't know. I think the CEO wants someone from outside. Aside that, I am not qualified. It doesn't matter. Still apply. Okay, I will. I'm going to trust God for it. That's the spirit. I need to go to the restroom. All right. You are Lola, right? Yes, I am. You are looking so different today. I really don't know what changed, but you have a different aura. Thanks. You are also looking so beautiful, but as always. Thanks. Come to think of it, why didn't I consider you for the vacant position? You are a very good accountant. You know what, I am going to tell the HR department that I have seen the suitable person for the job. Wow wow. Do you mean what she just said? I am the CEO. I can choose whoever I want. Thank you so much. This is a great surprise to me. I am so happy. You are welcome. I thank you Heavenly Father. 
This is purely your hand. Thank you Lord for this miracle. I am grateful Lord. God can be trusted. If you are watching this and you are not yet serious with your prayer life, I enjoin you to. God wants to communicate with you through prayers. He wants to hear you talk and he wants to talk to you. If you don't know how to start, ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Romans 8:26 says, Likewise the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Even Jesus prayed without ceasing. Don't be a prayerless Christian. It's time to drop your phone and pray.